Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Glory Room. I'm Prophet Lou. Hope you all are having a blessed day. Before we get started, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you for life, health, and strength. Thank you for loving us and taking care of us. Most of all, we thank you for saving our soul. Father God, we ask you today to be with us. Help us to understand this devotion. Help us apply it to our lives, Father God. Father God, we ask you to uh, give us direction. Father God, give us ears to hear and eyes to see. Father God, bless the ones that are reading it and bless the ones that are hearing it. In Jesus' name, amen. So the verse today is Judges 3 and 12. Again, the Israelites did evil in the eyes of the Lord. And because they did this evil, the Lord gave Eglon, king of Moab, power over Israel. Again, the Israelites cried out to the Lord, who gave them a deliverer, Edad, a left-handed man, the son of Gura, the Benjamite. The Israelites sent him with tribute to Eglon, king of Moab. Subject, showing us the way out. Christian truths, I'm going to say it and pause between each one to give you opportunity to say it if you like. I'm listening to the to the way. I'm needing true change. I am repenting. I am believing. Even when we do wrong in the sight of God, he still provides. I have done wrong in my life and he always still showed up for me. He chased me true enough, but he always is there. God loves us so much that he does not want to see us be without. And even if we deserve whatever we get ourselves into, he still res rescues us. And that's what he did with the Israelites. We often can do something and think it's okay because we got away with it. We think, oh, God will give me another chance or God will come and rescue me so quickly. Sometimes he'll let us sit in whatever we have gotten ourselves into. And he'll wait for us to see what we are doing is wrong. And when we call upon him and ask for forgiveness, he'll show us the way out. That's what God did in this story. He showed the Israelites the way out after 18 years. They cried out to God. Sometimes we must cry out to God and let him know, I need you. Please help me. Lord, I need you. I did wrong. Please show me the way out. For some of us, he's trying to do that today. He's trying to show us the way out. But we are ignoring the call because the comforts of this world are better than anything we ever had. That's how the enemy got us fooled, thinking we need the comforts of that, that we need this world to fulfill us. Verses 28, follow me, he ordered, for the Lord has given Moab, your enemy, into your hands. So they followed him down and took possession of the forts of the Jordan that led to Moab. They allowed no one to come across over. Not only did God give them out of their, get them out of their trouble, but he also gave them the Moab. He often don't allow God, we often don't allow God to show us the way because we think we have everything narrowed down or that we can problem solve this ourselves. And we can't. Many of us are allowing our thoughts and the traps of the enemy to lead us down the wrong road. We have to allow God to give us a clearer picture. Still, we can only be shown that by listening to God and calling out to him. And when we do this with a contrite heart, God will show us this the way, the, show us this the, way, the true way. The Bible says he is making our enemies our footstool, and that's what he did for them. The enemies became weak at their hands. They conquered them only because the Lord willed them. Sometimes some of us don't learn our lesson. We go back to what God told us to leave alone. And that's what the Israelites did in chapter 4, of Judges, verse 1. Again, the Israelites did evil in the eyes of the Lord now that Elad was dead. Because they went back to their ways, God let them sit in that for 20 years. And they cried out again. And no matter how they did, God didn't do that to them. He, he heard them and never left their side. God hasn't left our side. We have left him by running after the things of this world. Some of us know how good God is, but we refuse to follow him. Verse 3, because he had 900 chariots fitted with iron and had cruelly oppressed the Israelites for 20 years. They cried to the Lord for help. They cried to God for 20 years saying, I need you. Please help me. How many of us are waiting? Are we saying he hasn't helped me? Why? Because some of us are still in our waiting period. Some of us, God is waiting for us to see. If we see this isn't for us, this lifestyle, this bitterness, this hatred, this kind of drinking isn't for us until we see he's going to wait. Have you heard him call you? Have you tried to change and turn away? God is waiting to see if you notice that this sin that you used to don't feel good anymore. Your routine doesn't fit your lifestyle with him anymore. We must stop ignoring the call of God. He is not begging us, nor is he making us, but he is showing us. Do you see it? Matthew 13, 14, in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah. You will be ever hearing, but never understanding. You will be ever seeing, but never perceiving. 
When we are in this age of state of mind, we won't understand. We won't hear, nor will we see, because we are too busy allowing this life, this world, and our desire to create this blockage over ourselves. And no, we can't blame everything on the enemy. A lot of people will say, Satan made me do it. A spirit made me do it. Still, before a spirit can enter into us or our lives, we give it permission by our actions. So because of our actions, this spirit can stay and have us do things we that we did. To this, for us to stop this from happening, we must turn over all the vices, all the comforts over to God. That's something the Israelites did, didn't want to do. They, they wanted God to continue in his cycle of giving and fixing everything without true repentance. The Bible said, God says in Hebrews 10, 26, for there is no longer any sacrifice that we take away sins. If we purposely go on sinning after the truth has been made known to us, the change comes when we allow God to show us the way. Today, we learned that God could show us the way. God can heal us if we allow him to. But we must do this without purposely sinning and allowing the truth of God to be known to us. Some of us know the truth of God and we just continue whatever way we want because we figure God be there at the at, at least. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. My friend, that's the point. The point is for us to fully submit, turn away, and allow our repentance to be accurate and correct. Yes, we will sin and fall short of the glory of God. And yes, we have grace. But shouldn't we get tired of sinning over and over and over? Because sooner or later, words would be what they are, just words. We must have the action behind our words and change. Don't do what the Israelites did. Don't do what you're doing now. Change and allow the truth of God to show you the way. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for everything. We ask you to be with us, to change us, mold us to your image. Lord, help us not to fall into the repeated cycle of not caring, but cycle of needing you and knowing it and believing it. Lord, every time we have something or someone trying to pull us away, we are sorry. We love you. Please forgive us of the sins we have done. Lord, we want to show you we love you and not just speak it, but do it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The reference, Hebrews 13, 6, so we can confidently say the Lord is my helper. I will not fear what can man do to me. Hebrews 13, 6. Psalms 34 and 4. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Psalms 34 and 4. Psalms 27 and 14. Wait for the Lord. Be strong. Let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. Psalms 27, 14. For the reading, Proverbs 28, Romans 3. John 6, Mark 11. This ends showing us the way out. I pray you all have a blessed day. Remember, Jesus loves you. I love you too. Remember to like, subscribe, and follow on any platform. Remember to share with a family member or friend if you can. Please share on social media. Thank you. Be blessed.